Hello and welcome to the second episode in our series on Ayurveda in Mental Health and Neurosciences. In the first episode, we understood some of the fundamental concepts related to Ayurvedic principles of mental health, good mental health pra practices according to Ayurveda, etc. In this episode, we will try to understand what is the Ayurvedic principle of mental health disorders. Come, let us meet our expert. Ayurveda defines mental disorder as a result of disturbed rajas and tamas, they are the manodoshas. Rajas is, can be understood as something that causes agitation, aggressiveness, irritability, anger and tamas is that factor that causes gloominess, negativity uh, and ignorance. So these, uh, these doshas when they aggravate, uh, they lead to mental disorders. Sattva is the state of mental harmony and when the doshas, the rajas and tamas, they get disturbed, the mental disorders uh, show up or they present in uh, individuals. Ayurveda has described mental disorders under a broad heading of Unmada. The descriptions under Unmada are very similar to presentations of patients suffering from mental disorders with psychosis. So in Unmada, there are various components that is Manaha, Buddhi, mind, Buddhi is comprehension, Sanya Jnana is orientation, Smriti, memory, Bhakti is Icha, that is the likings and dislikes, Shila. The, that is the, the uh, ha habits and temperaments, achara, it is the behavior. So when all these aspects, they define the, a person's behavior normal or abnormal. When all, when there is vibrama in these aspects, it is known as vunmada. So most of the disorders where the psychosis is a predominant presentation is unmada. The other disorder is apasmara. Apasmara is characterized by the presentations very similar to epilepsy associated with behavioral disorders. Apart from that, there is another description known as Atattva Bhinivesha. Atattva Bhinivesha can be understood in the diseases that present like OCDs, obsessive compulsive disorders or acute delusional disorders. So these are main mental health disorders that are present. Apart from that, the common mental health disorders can be understood as derangement or dysfunction of the normal emotions of the mind like shoka that is vishada or udvega that is anxiety and so on. So the, uh, these have been described as uh, disorders where there is no uh, predominant presentation of psychosis. So basically we can uh, identify unmada apasmara and at atattva binivesha as major mental health disorders. Charaka defines the nidana or uh, the factors that contribute to mental disorders as follows. Alpa sattvasya mala pradushta. Alpa sattva is a definition that describes a person's reduced resilience or his, ability, his vulnerability to a particular disorder. So uh, this uh, is a result of how the person is exposed to during his growth and development in terms of developing the Resilience. So, Alpa Sattvasya Mala Pradushta. So, a person's Alpa Sattva is mainly responsible for the uh, uh, development of mental disorders. The uh, descriptions of mental disorders in Ayurveda is mainly clinical. No specific tests are mentioned in the Ayurveda classics. The symptoms are, uh, are uh, the symptoms, the disease is diagnosed based on the presentation. So it is, we call what is known as Vibrama. Vibrama is deviation from the normal functioning of certain mental faculties like Manaha, thinking, thought process, Buddhi, that is the cognition, understanding, comprehension, Sanya Jnana, orientation, Smriti, memory, uh, Shila, that is the, the normal temperament, Bhakti, likes and dislikes, Cheshta, his behavior, 
self behavior as well as behavior towards the society and achara is the shastra shiksha krito achara so what is the normal uh, behavior of the person towards the society so these are the factors that are considered in diagnosing the per a person's um, uh, mental disorder so it is mainly clinical and it is mainly based on symptomatology ayurveda defines a very strong connect between mind and body shariram api sattvam anuvidhiyate sattvam cha shariram sharira connects with the mind in normal functions as well as in diseases and mind also connects with the body in normal functions and diseases the doshas of mind and doshas of the body both have a very strong connect and interplay in diseases so these are considered in ayurveda while treat, treatment of mental disorders and also the diagnosis of mental disorders the treatment basically is to alleviate the aggravation of sharirika doshas thereby harmonizing the manasika doshas so this is this connect makes it more holistic this concludes the second episode in our series on ayurveda in mental health and neurosciences in this episode we understood some of the important concepts related to mental health disorders according to ayurveda we understood what are the different kinds of major mental health disorders and their equivalent in modern medicine what are the factors underlying these mental health disorders how are these symptoms diagnosed and what is the mind body connect and how this could be used in ayurveda to understand and treat mental health disorders we'll be back with our next episode namaste